All right, legends, welcome back to part three. In the last video, we put our recipe together. And in this video, we're gonna talk about what we need to all grain brew. First things first, I still use a lot of the stuff for my starter kit, especially my six gallon carboy and my five gallon stainless steel kettle. Now, outside of that, you're gonna want at least a seven gallon kettle for five gallon batches. What I use is an eight gallon kettle. I scored this off Craigslist for a hundred bucks. A lot of people convert kegs into kettles or kegels since kegs are stainless steel. This is great for 10 gallon batches. So my eight gallon kettle, it's got a lid, great to keep the temperature in. Plus it saves me money on propane because I brew outside. I don't brew in a kitchen on a stove. Make sure it's been welded so you can attach a half inch ball valve. Next thing you want is a legit thermometer, stainless steel, no more glass and plastic thermometers. I can screw one into my kettle right here, but I'll just save the money and use my thermometer that connects at the top. Next, buy five to 10 feet of silicone hosing or tubing. Homebrew silicone is about $3 a foot and it's good up to 220 degrees, which is awesome because water boils at 212. That means you can clean it by just boiling it. Pharmaceutical grade silicone can be good up to 300 degrees but that stuff is about 10 to $15 a foot, so don't worry about that right now. Your homebrew shop should carry homebrew grade silicone. Silicone is good forever. The only time I really use vinyl or plastic is for blow off tubes, but then the plastic gets dirty, tough to clean, and then I just end up throwing it away. Okay, so the most important part of brewing a five gallon batch of all grain homebrew is the mash tun. I'll explain the significance and process more in the next video, but make sure you have a mash tun built out of a 10 gallon Home Depot cooler, or a Lowe's cooler, or a Rubbermaid cooler. I think they're all Rubbermaid and Lowe's and Home Depot just slaps their name on it. 10 gallon, just make sure it's not the five gallon one. You can buy one of these mash tuns for about 180 to $200, or build it all yourself for 125. I have watched a lot of YouTube videos where guys make mash tuns doing it the cheapest way as possible. You do not want to do that. You want to do it right the first time so your mash tun works good pretty much forever. Let me know if you guys want me to make a video on how to make a mash tun. So you want to use a 10 gallon Home Depot cooler, half inch ball valve with a barb to connect our silicone tubing to, another half inch barb on the inside of the cooler. Then I'm using a 12 inch diameter stainless steel false bottom. The false bottom works as our filter to keep the grains from going in the kettle when we boil. Then I use silicone tubing to connect the false bottom to the barb on the inside of the ball valve. You might want to use a hose clamp. I never do. This is exactly how my mash tun operates. Keep in mind I'm using silicone hosing right here, never plastic vinyl, as our mash water may go up to 165 degrees for different styles of beer. Vinyl is only good up until 120 degrees, so your beer will taste like plastic if you don't use silicone. This is about, what, five or six inches or so. All right, guys, good luck with this, and I'll see you in the next video where we mash in.